Vernier Caliper. In this video we will learn about Vernier Caliper. Vernier Caliper is a measuring instrument which can be used to measure height, thickness, depth and internal and external diameters of the various components. It works on the principle of difference in two scale. It can measure dimensions accurately up to 0.02 mm or 0.001 inches. Where 0.02 mm or 0.001 inches is the least count of the vernier caliper. Let us see its various parts in detail. It has main scale, vernier scale, external measuring jaws, internal measuring jaws, lock screw, and depth measuring bar. Main scale. Main scale has a markings which are engraved on it. On top, the markings are in inches, and on the bottom they are in mm. Vernier scale. Vernier scale has a marking on top and bottom. Top scale is for taking readings in inches, and bottom scale is for taking readings in millimeters. There are two types of vernier scales. Forward vernier. Backward vernier. If on the bottom there are 50 divisions, whose total length is equal to the length of 49 division on main scale. This type is called forward vernier. On the other hand suppose 50 divisions on vernier scale are equal to 51 divisions on main scale. Such a vernier is called backward vernier. In this video we will discuss about forward vernier. External measuring jaws. In external measuring jaws. There is a fixed jaw which is a part of main scale and a sliding jaw which is attached to a vernier scale. It is called sliding jaw because it slides with vernier scale. These jaws are used for measuring external dimensions, such as outer diameter, length, and thickness of components. Internal measuring jaws. Here also, there is a fixed and a sliding jaw. These jaws are used for measuring internal dimensions, such as inner diameter, slot dimensions, and distance between two parallel surfaces. Lock screw. On top of vernier scale there is one lock screw, which helps in clamping the movable jaw in a particular position, after jaws have been set accurately over the job being measured. This arrests further motion of the movable jaw, so that the operator can note down the reading in a convenient position Whenever the vernier slides over the main frame, a depth measuring blade also slides in and out of the beam of the caliper. This is a useful attachment for measuring depth to a high degree of accuracy. Now let us see how the least count of vernier instrument is calculated. As we discussing forward vernier scale caliper, we knew that 50 divisions on the vernier scale is equal to 49 divisions on the main scale, equating both. 50 vernier scale divisions equals 50 minus 1 main scale divisions. Therefore, 1 vernier scale division equals 50 minus 1 divided by 50. 1 vernier scale division equals 49 divided by 50 millimeters. Therefore, we knew least count equals 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division, which is equal to 1 minus 49 divided by 50 millimeters which is equal to 0.02 millimeters. Therefore, the total reading will be equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale divisions into least count. Let us see how to take measurement of a component using vernier caliper. First completely close the vernier caliper. These are the surfaces where you can take a measurements. And you can also see couple of gaps. These are not the places to take measurements. Now let us take measurement of a object. When we hold this object between the two jaws, we first take reading from the main scale, and we can see that zero of the vernier scale coincides exactly with 40th division of the main scale. In this case the size of the object is 40 millimeters. No vernier scale reading is required since the 40 mm line of the main scale coincides with zero of the vernier scale. Let us take another example, in this case again hold the object between the two jaws. In this example we can see that the size of the object is not exactly 40 millimeters. It is between 40 and 41 millimeters. In this case we require vernier scale to get accurate measurement. But this time I'm only going to draw the main part of it first. Now you see the marked number from 0 to 10. Each of these numbers represents the tenth of the millimeters. We can see one of the vernier scale mark lines up better than others. 
let me give you a hint where to look on the vernier scale, where Mark lines up. You see how our zero line of the vernier was more than halfway between the marks, that means the vernier scale will line up more a little past halfway. Now we can see that the line which lines up better than other, it looks like 6 is lining up better, the 6 means 0.6 millimeters. But this vernier caliper can measure more accurate than that. Let me redraw all the lines. Now see that the line before 7 lines up better. Now what is the value of that point? We already knew least count of the vernier is 0.02 millimeters. That means each of these divisions are 0.02 millimeters. Now let us count. This 6 would be 0 0.6. Next point. 0 0.62. Next point. 0 0.64. Next point. 0.66 and the coinciding point will be 0.68. Therefore, the length is main scale reading which is 40 millimeters plus this 0.68 millimeters, which is equal to 40.68 millimeters. If you are still confused, the another easy way of measuring is to see which line of vernier is coinciding with main scale. Here in this case at 34th line, therefore, 34 is our vernier scale division. And you can remember we already seen total reading is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into list count. This will give you 40.68 millimeters. Hope you have understood what are the different parts of vernier caliper and how to measure the components using vernier caliper. If you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, and if you feel this video gave you some knowledge, then like and share with your friends.